my name is Maggie. Um, I've been an amputee for four years from meningococcal meningitis. I had meningitis at age 37 and quickly that changed from meningitis into sepsis which is the blood infection and I ended up losing my legs because the blood pooled to my core to preserve my organs and I lost blood flow to um, my legs for an extended period of time um, and the doctors weren't able to restore that. It was really devastating um, but I'm a mom of four kids and that was really inspirational to me. I knew um, that having my legs amputated would allow me to live for my children and for my husband and so that's what I needed to do um, to get better and to move on with life. I think some of the things that have helped me the most would be, um, the first would be connecting with other amputees, especially ones that were further along in the rehab process than I was, amputees that could do things that I wasn't yet able to do. That showed me what was possible and then by talking to them I would learn little tricks like how to ride a bike or maybe a foot that's good for running and things I wouldn't otherwise have known um, without knowing another amputee. And then I also really sought out the best professionals. So if I went to a physical therapist, I wanted it to be the best physical therapist in my area or the best prosthetist um, in the country or whatever I could do to maximize my chances of success. I think at the beginning, um, I just started setting goals to do really simple things. For example, a big thing for me would be to be able to go to the grocery store or to be able to stand at the kitchen counter and make a sandwich. And so what I did is I started setting goals and when I would achieve one, then I would set another. And I tried not to set goals that were too hard or too far for me to reach, but really small things that maybe I could accomplish um, in a few days to a week. And then as I got better, I started, kept advancing the goals more and more. So it went beyond wanting to play with my kids. It went, okay, well, I wanna be able to walk a mile. And then I wanna be able to walk a 5K, and then I wanna learn how to run. So I just kept taking goal after goal after goal. And actually, I still do that today. I, I don't think I've, I'm at my peak place yet. And so I know that there's um, still room to do um, new and amazing things. I started um, Maggie's Walk um, this year um, as a fundraiser and to start a foundation to help other people that have had illnesses similar to mine, um, any severe bacterial infection and sepsis that has caused people to be disabled um, in any way or to be amputees. And the reason I'm starting this is because in 2007 I was unable to afford to pay for prostheses. My insurance company um, was not easy to work with and they were going to give me very little money um, in order to be able to buy what I needed to walk. And because there was a fundraiser called Maggie's Walk done for me in 2007, I decided it was time to um, take everything I learned and the blessings I would received and give them away to others.